Hey folks, Boba the Vulture again, and uh, trying another little game here. This is one that uh, I'd run off as a request to my good friend and esteemed colleague, the Mysterious JG, but uh, I think he's got some other stuff lined up, and I kind of needed a game to do, and you know, one of the reasons I asked for it is because I enjoy this game. So, let's have a look at it. That's licensed by Nintendo of America, that's good, it's a quality product. Oh, Ghostbusters 2. I can see why they'd make a sequel of that one after the first one got such critical acclaim. Wait. Oh. Okay. Well. I guess they're going to reset the game now for me. That was good of them. Alright. Yes, folks, it's the Three Stooges. Here's your basic plot. Well, it's a banker guy walking away. The Stooges arrive in an orphanage. What's the matter, lady? Ooh, our house needs repairs. We don't have any money. And if we don't pay the rent within 30 days, we lose everything. Don't worry, lady. We'll get the dough. That's as strangely charitable of the Three Stooges. Most of their shorts tended to be about them attempting to scheme money out of someone or something. Um, I'm going to be playing this just one player. And you'll see that the game is composed of a little board. And the little icon moves around, you have to press the button to stop on it. We're going with the waiter's job. The waiter's job is at least to my mind the best of the mini games. It's the one I'm the best at anyway. So we have to serve pies to guests and if we serve all the pies we'll be in great shape. Wait a minute. I'm beginning to think this is actually just pretense for pie fight and I am right. Alright the objective here is to throw pies and as each new pie, I guess, gets baked and put on the table in front of the Stooges, just go ahead and press the buttons to make them throw them. Um, there's really no reason to, like, worry about whether or not the folks over there are ducking. Just unload your pies as quickly as possible. Shut those pie holes. Alright. Okay, the next contest we are apparently going to take on here is boxing. But you see this? People always pan this game, but it's totally just like Mario Party. It's a series of mini-games set up along some kind of, uh, you know, board game formula. This is actually, uh... Hmm. Okay, so cash prize anyone who can knock down the champ killer killed up within six rounds. Okay, so it's going to be a boxing game. Uh, the what the hell? The acid just kicked in. <laughs> so, uh, Larry's in some variety of crazy disco. Alright, um, not sure what's going on with the controls here. There we go. Is that a naked baby in the street there? That's unusual. Um, this particular stage, this particular sub-game is based off of a, uh, based off of a Three Stooges movie called uh, Punch Drunks, I think it was called. I think it was called, anyway. Basically the idea was uh, Larry, who is a violin player, like Larry Fine actually knows how to play a violin, um, but uh, for some reason Curly would get enraged and become a uh, unbeatable fighter whenever he heard the song Pop Goes the Weasel. Which is why you were looking earlier at a picture of Larry getting, uh, I guess, rays of fright or something coming out of his head after he saw that his violin was broken. So, their solution was to run to the radio shop, get a radio that's playing Pop Goes the Weasel. And we got back within six rounds. It was the fifth round, actually. And so, you can see, Mo's very happy. And we're very happy now, too. 
because we are in 600 bucks out of that. All right, what am I going to stop on next? Okay, we're going to stop on the doctor sub game. Um, at least as far as I'm able to do, this one seems to earn you the least amount of money out of all of the like game tiles. So, uh, yeah, fifteen dollars per second spent in the operating room, um, and there is a five dollar reward for found items. You'll see what's happening here, basically. Yeah, uh, we have to run through a hallway. It's best to try and keep behind the guy with the gurney because, uh, you know, he will not actually hit other uh, objects as they come through the hallway. Those red crosses are supposed to be medical supplies. We get five dollars for each one picked up, but I'd rather just concentrate on trying to get into the uh, operating room in time. Which I'm not doing a very good job of because I keep hitting stuff. Here we go. Ouchie. See? $235. What kind of payday is that? Alright, what are we getting now? Oh, crap. Now you'll see, we have one fewer finger. Basically, the mouse traps are just a uh, means of, I guess, having lives in the game. If you hit a mouse trap, you break your finger and you can't use your finger. And if you break all four of your fingers on one hand, you can no longer get a job. Okay. Now, I've been told that this is the best possible game for uh, earning money, but uh, I'm not good at it. But basically, you can continue playing this game forever. Most of the other games have a time limit, but... Um, and my... I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm occasionally having my, uh... My keyboard not respond, which is not particularly helpful. And as you can see, uh, Curly keeps, uh, being upset because oysters are coming out and, uh, eating the crackers before he has a chance. And you can see where that would be, uh, disturbing. Ah, crud. Let's take that one. Alright, let's get that one, let's get that one, and that one's gonna go before we can... What's he doing with his hand over there? Do I wanna know? Would his mother be ashamed? Okay, so here's the part where basically it becomes very difficult because you only have one and yeah, the uh, may not be really easy to notice there, but the controls for his hand in that particular game are kind of logy. Oh, I hit the mystery tile. Alright, we'll see what the mystery tile is. It can be any one of a number of other different items. Or other different tiles. Ah! This time we got the money tile. 400 bucks, baby. Read it and weep. Alright, let's see what we get now. Okay, we got the doctor's job again. I was kind of actually hoping to get the icon that looked like Stooges eye gouging one another over there. Because, uh... While it doesn't actually earn you any money, it makes the hand move slower. So that you can actually pick games. Okay, well, let's make another run through the hallway. Better run through the hallway. Better run... Well, I guess actually they have uh, wheelchairs that they're rolling around on. So, uh, that's cool. I don't remember all the words to this song, but, uh, this particular song, I don't think it was used in an episode in which they were crazy doctors, but, uh, they did do a musical number to this tune at some point in one of their movies, and I can't remember which one it was now and how the words went. I know, I'm a veritable fountain of, uh, Three Stooges knowledge. Crunchy. 
$245. Congratulations, Stooges. And with that, we're going to take a break because we're out of time. I've been Bo the Vulture. Thanks very much for watching.